Okay, so once you've installed the LUTmaster presets into Premiere Pro, you should be able to access your camera profiles, as well as all the color presets. So in this case, the footage I'm dealing with is shot with uh, red. And I know that this particular shot is from the Red Epic with the Red Color 3 Red Log Film Profile. I'm just going to drag and drop this preset on the adjustment layer. So in this case, I'm using adjustment layers to apply the presets. However, you can, of course, drag and drop the presets directly onto the footage. So the camera profile preset is what you want to apply first and then overlay the color. So in this case, you can see that I have a camera adjustment layer and that's directly over my shot. And right above that is my uh, color profile. So for instance, I'm just gonna grab this commercial Glam T105, drag and drop it on top. However, if I drag and drop the color preset underneath, the color tones, everything seems to be off. So I just wanted to point out how you stack these presets is gonna be uh, important and that you wanna stack your camera profile first and then add the color preset. Same idea when applying directly to the video. First, I'm gonna drag and drop my camera profile on top of the footage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a color LUT preset. Okay, so same example, if I drag the profile, the camera profile above the color preset, I'm going to get usually pretty unpleasant results. So that's about it. Now, once you have your color presets in order, you can, of course, inside Premiere, continue to adjust your liking. You know, in this case, you can adjust the intensity of the LUT and go into exposures and temperature, tints, RGBs, and continue to work on the look of your film.